Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Go Line Hockey, it's your boy Kevin Forte and today we're going to take a look at the Philadelphia Flyers as they have a pair of really good players on their team that are currently on the trade market. Ones that in the beginning of the year I wasn't necessarily expecting to see but here we are, Ivan Provrov and Kevin Hayes are both available from the Philadelphia Flyers. And we're going to go over some of those reports today. And at the end of the video, we're actually going to do some mock trades for these pair of Flyers on the market. So, from Charlie O'Connor, he said, A mutual divorce between the Flyers and Ivan Provrov seems inevitable. Uh, Ivan Provrov has been with the Flyers since he was drafted. A Flyers draft pick, I believe a first round pick. And uh, he is a core player of that defense. And if they decide to trade him away, there's a pretty massive move here for the Flyers if they decide to go down this direction. Uh, the Edmonton Oilers have been connected to Provrov, and that was from Bob Stafer. Um, we also heard, I'm pretty sure, yeah, from Kevin Hayes, uh, from David Pajnota. He said the interest in Kevin Hayes would strike... Uh, would spike significantly if the Flyers would be willing to retain two or three million dollars on his deal. Um, the Carolina Hurricanes have been connected to said Kevin Hayes, and that was from Kevin uh, David Pajnota. Uh The Winnipeg Jets are looking to add the blue line and have been linked to Flyers defenseman Ivan Provorov. The Philadelphia Flyers have discussed trades involving Provorov, and the early favorites include the Jets, Red Wings. And the Vancouver Canucks. The Kings want to make a splash and have been linked to Flyers defenseman Ivan Provorov. Uh, Elliot Friedman said, you're going to hear Ivan Provorov's name more and more in trade discussions. Um, so that looks like a pretty good spot right now uh, for Provorov. He is definitely in a lot of, you know, he's definitely in a lot of different uh, people's radar in terms of a potential trade. He's going to probably get some value here on the market. And this is great news for the Flyers fans that, yeah, it's another rough season and you're losing Provy, but they, they likely will get a pretty good return for him despite not having a great last two seasons. Again, a lot of that isn't necessarily his own fault. You know, the team just, let's be honest, just isn't very good. You can't completely blame him for that. But it looks like there is a lot of, a lot of interest in this player. Um, Elliot Friedman reports that the Flyers and Provrov could part ways at the trade deadline, stating the two sides have mutual frustration after the team and is considering moving him as a player. Um, apparently there was a Provrov for line a deal that was nixed by the Flyers two years ago, which that could have been really interesting if the Jets ended up getting Provrov and line a ended up going to Philly. That could have been an interesting interesting situation, to say the least. Um, so, what do I think of this? You know, listen, at the end of the day, you know, we were hearing that Kevin Hayes' deal potentially could get bought out this summer. So, if a team's willing to take him, I think that's really good news. You know, Kevin Hayes is not a bad player. You know, let's not, let, let's get that out of the way very quickly here. It's just that contract is tough. And I think a lot of teams are going to be deterred by that contract, especially a team... That's a contender, you know, unless you are really, really a fan of Kevin Hayes. And like I said, they, teams want probably Philadelphia to retain 2 or $3 million because the teams that are going to be interested in Kevin Hayes don't have the cap space to make that deal work and be comfortable with that. So we're going to start off with Ivan Provorov. Uh, Provorov is a little bit more interesting. Uh, I was able to come up with three different teams in a trade for Ivan Provorov. And they are the Oilers, the Kings, and the Winnipeg Jets. For the Edmonton Oilers, I have their first round pick, second round pick, and Jesse Poyarvi in a deal. Uh, Poyarvi is a little bit of a risky wild card piece, but nonetheless, I think is a guy that could add scoring to the Flyers, if nothing else. Uh, I don't think he necessarily fits John Tortorella's system, but honestly, any guy that scores goals is going to struggle under Tortorella because Tortorella is John Tortorella, right? Uh, they also get two first and they get a first and second round pick. So even if even if Poyarvi ends up getting, he just doesn't get re-signed at the end of his current contract. Who cares? You know, you have a first and second round pick as backup. So even if you just got the first and second, you know, Poyarvi is just kind of the cherry on top in that deal. 
Uh, the Los Angeles Kings, I have a first-round pick, Francesco Pinelli and Tobias Bjornfoot. Uh, a couple of interesting assets here. Bornfoot really doesn't have a spot on the roster for the LA Kings. He's kind of been up and down in the American Hockey League and in the NHL. He might get more of an opportunity under the Flyers and specifically under Tortorella's system. Uh, Francesco Pinelli. Uh, Francesco Pinelli is a first-round pick of the Los Angeles Kings back a couple of years ago, and he can score goals. And what do the Flyers need? Guys that can score goals. Not to mention they also get a first-round pick. I would say that's a pretty nice package from the Los Angeles Kings in exchange for a pretty good defenseman in Ivan Provrov. I think that is something that the Flyers realistically can get, you know, again, Talking about some pretty good players, some high-profile prospects that could be on the board for the Philadelphia Flyers here via a trade. And on the Winnipeg Jets, now maybe it's not Patrick Laine for Provi, but we're looking at a first-round pick, a second-round pick, and Henry Nikonen, who is a defenseman in Winnipeg. He's a prospect and a guy that's a little bit more of a developmental pros uh, project under Tortorella. Tortorella can kind of mold him into the defenseman that he wants to create, which could be good, could also be bad, as we know. But again, it's kind of like Poyarvi. Even if Nikonen doesn't really turn out, well, you've still got the first and second round pick assets there. I think that's very realistic. I think the amount of competition and the amount of availability for Provi is going to make him a very hot commodity on the trade market. And if the Philadelphia Flyers are smart and they you know, make this trade at the right time and the value is right, they could really strike gold here on a trade for Provrov. This is a big deal for them. He's got three more years left on his contract, a little over $6 million per season. This is a critical contract for the Philadelphia Flyers. If they want to move it, you know, to bring in some of their younger guys and to even go, with, you know, the via free agency route, you know, they are going to need to get a good return for Provrov. This is a team that needs prospects, that needs depth, that needs draft picks. They need prospects all over the board. There isn't one specific spot where they need forward prospects or defense prospects. They need them all over the place. So there's a really good opportunity for them to get that done in a Provrov trade. Now, Kevin Hayes trade is a little bit of a different mindset. If I'm looking at a Kevin Hayes trade, there's really only one team, you know, with the Carolina Hurricanes that I see a real glaring fit here. And that is Carolina trades, yes, their first round pick, and Jake Gardner's contract for the rest of this season for Kevin Hayes. It is very risky for Carolina, giving up that first-round pick. But Carolina doesn't need first-round picks. They're a good hockey team. And if you're Philadelphia, you're saying, listen, we're, we're going to take the rest of Jake Gardner's contract this season. You have the money to keep Kevin Hayes this year. And maybe Carol you know, maybe Philadelphia has to retain some of that salary to get that first-round pick. But nonetheless, I do really think that value is there. And this is a team that Carolina is very good this year. You add a guy like Kevin Hayes to that group, oh boy, that's going to be a tough team in the playoffs in the Metropolitan Division. I really like Carolina's chances this year. I think Kevin Hayes fits very well under the Rod Brendamore kind of mold and the prototype. You know, there is a little bit of open ice to score, but it's a it's more of a structured system. He's an all-star for the Philadelphia Flyers this season. He leads the team in goals. This guy is no joke. He's not just some bum. You know, Kevin Hayes is still a very good hockey player. He obviously has some issues with, with John Tortorella. And I think that the Flyers would be quite happy with a first or second round pick. Even if they had to retain salary on that Kevin Hayes contract, I think they would still take that if it meant they could get a first round pick for him instead of buying him out this summer, which I think is the worst, worst case scenario for the Flyers at this point. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of the Philadelphia Flyers potentially moving on from Ivan Provorov and Kevin Hayes ahead of this year's NHL trade deadline? Guys, the Flyers are slowly but surely rebuilding this team. And, you know, I didn't talk about some other players, but some other honor, some other honorable mentions in Philadelphia. Uh, Zach McEwen's name has been thrown around there as a potential guy to add some, you know, grit and some size to a, a team maybe looking to make the playoffs. Um, of course, JVR, James Van Riemsdyk's name has been thrown around. And I think this is maybe more of a summer discussion, but Carter Hart's name has been thrown out there as well. And that's something to consider. That's something that could be really interesting this summer. So, of course, 
If you aren't, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below and hit that red button to subscribe because I will keep you guys up to date on the latest on potentially a Carter Hart trade or Zach McEwen or JVR or whatever we end up talking about ahead of this year's, I think it's March 3rd, NHL trade deadline here in 2023. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.